Okay. I'm Mary Elizabeth Farmer. I'm the program coordinator for Tenity Education. Okay. Uh, part of what I do is I come and help sanction these types of competitions for our yeah. National STEM League. Cool. And uh, also what I do is I train teachers and coaches who are new to the National STEM League. I help them get started, provide them some assistance in the beginning. So what we're doing out here today, this is what used to be called our, our regional finals. For every region across America, we come and allow teams the opportunity to experience national finals just at a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. So we now call our regional finals white flag invitations. White flag being the last lap in racing. So this is the last really leading up, last mm -hmm. competition leading up to our national finals, okay. which is going to be in the Charlotte area, okay. Charlotte, North Carolina, kind of um, home of motorsports, okay. you know. Um, that's going to be on May 16th and 17th. So coming up in a few weeks, actually, cool. about two months. Okay. What are the students doing here today? So this is a, a, one of the things that we encourage our competition teams to do is to collaborate and compete with each other. So this allows not just the competition side, not just to come out and compete with the cars, compete with their engineering projects, but to collaborate with each other as well. Because otherwise, these teams never really see each other. Uh, this gives them an opportunity to come together and see what other teams are doing. I've already heard some conversations go, gosh, how did they set that up that car? What do they do with the gearing system? So um, it allows them everything that they've been doing mm -hmm. themselves as a team at school mm -hmm. that they've been working on and engineering the car. This gives them the opportunity to put it to the test. Cool. You know, have they engineered a car that's going to be a top performer or not? Right. Okay. Cool. I'm uh, Ron Torres. I'm the engineering academy leader at Robert Morgan. And we've got a couple of our projects here, um, which was they're represented by each grade level. So this is our freshman class, uh, class of 17. And, and the, on the back of our shirts, the students are identified by Pirate Racing, that's the name of our entire group, and then 17 would be the grade level. And as we go around a little bit, uh, it'll go up to 15 and then 16 uh, for, the, the, for the different grade levels. Uh, we had a, an idea over here to talk about using different kinds of energy to help our race car uh, move a little bit faster. So. Um, um, maybe you want to tell us a little bit about your uh, arc reactor uh, quickly? Um, well, the arc reactor was going to be one of the two fuel cells that we have as a substitute. It would be basically a four-inch fusion reactor. Because, you know, fusion reactors are usually three-story tall buildings. This would be the same concept except four inches big. And it would fit on the car and it would be like towards the back, towards the engine, towards the motor and it would give it probably a faster run, a cleaner run, okay. and more efficient steering, more efficient energy. It wouldn't run out. Very cool. Yep. And then, um, we did a little project board, we did some research, brought in some film um, uh, shots from uh, Iron Man, and uh, we talked about uh, a little bit about how we can improve the performance on this car. And then that was a general theme, and as we roll around to the other um, grade levels, uh, we have variations on the, that project theme. Okay.